Uh, but this fella, Chris says hi, in fact, is his name. Uh, hey, can you please talk about the time that James Mitchell, or the Sinister Minister, as he was called in ECW, blew off his finger when he was screwing around with the thing that shot fireballs after his What Are You Thankful For promo? Okay. So, he had this little thing. It was a copper tube, a pipe, with uh, a, a button and I don't know if it was like a 9-volt battery. And magicians used it. You would take uh, an eighth of a sheet of flash paper, crumple it up, stick it in there, and then when you hit the button, it would shoot a fireball out. He says to me, ah, Mikey, I'm going to make a chic gimmick. I said, okay. So now he takes an entire, not an eighth of a sheet, an entire sheet of flash paper, and he is crumpling it up, and he's trying to get it in this little fucking copper tube. There's no way this is going to fit. He goes into his bag, grabs a fucking toothbrush, and starts fucking jamming it the fuck in there. Well, as he's jamming it in there, he didn't take the battery out, and he hit the fucking button. So basically, he made a pipe bomb. Bam! This fucking thing goes. He goes, ah! Oh. And he goes like this, grabs his hand, and looks down. And there's this hole in his hand, and his fingers, and just blood is like coming out and pouring we go running to the bathroom in the sink, and we're now we're running his hand under the water to kind of clear the blood. He's holding it, and there's a giant fucking hole in his hand, and his fingers are all fucked up, and his hands like this. My, and my head, I'm, I just hear, like for this battle, this concussion bomb that just went off. And we're standing there in sink, and he's holding his wrist like this, and he's sitting there, and Sandman comes and goes, yo, that's great. <laughs> Got to use this on a fucking promo. Meanwhile, his hand's fucking blown to fucking bits. And we're standing there like, oh, my God. And he, he just stops. He looks at me and he goes, ah, Mikey, you seem to have a bit of my fingers hanging from the bridge of your nose. <laughs> and I look in the mirror and there's blood is all over there. Like there's like skin bits all over my face. And I'm just like, oh, Jesus. Like Pulp Fiction, when that they shot Marvin in the face, the kid in the backseat. Yeah. And his head just explodes against the fucking windshield of the back window. That's what like my face looked like. I'm like, oh my God. So now I'm like trying to wash my face off. He's over here bleeding like this. And as he's standing there, he goes, oh. And he looks down and he pulls his jacket away. He had on a black shirt. And you can see where it, his black shirt looked wet, right? He rips his shirt open and you just see this this hole in, in like his stomach. Not a huge hole, but it's like enough to be pretty ugly looking and he goes and he fucking collapses into a chair and it was what the fuck so what happened was it, it it seemed like it was like a movie where the where the baby face makes the giant comeback saves the world it's all over he looks down and he's fucking mortally wounded that's what it looked like and he, so he like almost passes out he's sitting in a chair they take him away in the fucking ambulance now Tajiri and I are freaked the fuck out because he was going to make this fucking thing. And then during our entrance, he's going to shoot it between me and Tajiri's head. So <laughs> it was me and Tajiri's head or his hand. So I'm guessing, okay, but I'm like, well, that could have been fucking bad on live TV. But I remember I call him after the, after the pay-per-view match. I call him up. I said, hey, how you doing? Do you need anything? He goes, ah, yes. Bring me a beer and a Burger King cup because they won't let me have beer. So he wanted me to bring him beer and a Burger King cup uh -huh. so he could still drink beer. That's and I go, Holy goes, how was he? I go, he's going to be fine. 